Alright guys, so I'm all set there. I had a hard time finding my dive, man. And I had my hands on it uh, Saturday or Sunday. Just couldn't find the shit. And I usually carry a gallon uh, on my truck already pre-mixed. Um, and all you need is about a half a bottle of, uh, I mean a half, yeah, a little half a bottle of the food coloring in a gallon of water and it's great leak detecting uh, shit and it's cheap you know what I mean it's food coloring um, anyways that that toilets all set uh, it's a great little contract not a contract but a, a contact these people are always calling me her husband is a home inspector and uh, every time he does a home inspection he recommends me uh, if there are any plumbing issues in the house but then most of these jobs uh, down these houses are for people who spend six months out of the year up north or wherever wherever they you know they, they spend the winters down in Florida uh, they come from all over the place a lot of them are actually from uh, overseas Europeans man uh, anyways that's a that was a quick thing I got paid quick Zell uh, works out great and um, down the road man going to the next one I gotta go I'm gonna see if I can call my buddy and, and get over to his house and throw this uh, this electric uh, anode rod and they really do work guys if you got rotten egg smell supposedly they extend the life of the water heater out to 20 years about $156 uh, for a real good one and uh, Yeah, it's a, uh, you gotta buy a good one, but they do work, man. So I recommend them to people on wells, uh, or if you have an, an issue with, uh, stinky water, man. Knock the stink down. I'll get you the name of it when I get there. Open sesame. <laughs> Something's grinding, man. I think I, I got to check my transmission fluid or the rear end on this truck, man. Maybe it needs some oil in it after so long. Alrighty. Hey, man. This water heater's got a dent in it. That's gonna have to void the warranty, my friend. All right, I'm shutting this off, okay? Yeah. Nobody's in a shower or no. anything? No. Can you bleed the pressure down at the whatever, wherever this water heater feeds? Yeah. Turn that off. Yeah. I need to turn it off at the panel. Damn, that's a steep step there, boys. Pressure bled down? Yeah. All right, good. I'm gonna get a little hose and pull a little water out of the top of it. Yeah. Hey, guys, this fucking prick right here, <laughs> fucking lifelong friend, I go over to his workbench and realize half of his fucking tools are mine. I gotta keep my eye on you. When, when I'm in working and he wanders out towards my truck, look at him. <laughs> look at him. If he gives you a dollar, he wants two dollars in return, man. He's tighter than a... He's just tight, man. You owe me for fucking... What do I owe you for? That fucking drill. I owe you for taking my drill? I didn't take it. I found it and kept it. I didn't sell it. 
Oh, that was great. You're a fucking wonderful human being. You're going to heaven, my friend. I know I am. <laughs> yeah. I know I am. You and Trump. <laughs> you and Trump are going to heaven, boy. Where's the wires, man? Where's the wires? He's fucking there. All right, man. Just pay don't, attention. Listen, man. I don't do well on Mondays. So pay fucking attention, dude. Let me go get a ladder. That's a pretty high. All right, guys. First thing. First thing when doing this is obviously get this cap off. Uh, can you can you turn this off at the panel? Yeah. Right Damn. Oh, I can't wait till it cools off. I'm so sick of this heat. Guys, you're gonna need an inch and a sixteenth. Socket on the electric one like this. You're gonna need an extension, man. I use my my impact driver. And uh Gotta vacuum this shit out, man. I'm serious. I do not want this foam getting in this heater because it's gonna end up in a valve. Hey, I don't, you don't need that. Thank you. 
on the fucking truck. Young fucker. stole my motherfucking impact. I, I needed impact. I had to do all kinds of drills, but I needed impact. Yeah. I had to wind up nine fucking each set. I, I, I got at least 25 fucking drills. <laughs> Driver up, please. It's already got the bit on it that I need. If you have some, bring them over. I got it. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. So, see, I'm not going to be able to get this thing out. So, what you got to do is uh, take a pair of uh, vice grips. A little lower so you don't scrape the ceiling, sir. Okay, excuse me there. Fucking, uh... Fuck, like you did your fucking paintbrush. Richie Rich. This guy's got more money than fucking God. And he's so fucking cheap, it ain't funny. He took his wife out to dinner on the first date. He fucking went to the Burger King drive-thru, man. I was there. <laughs> I remember that. I met you, and then... I don't know, she wasn't into all of that. And he ended up going to a chicken place across the street, another cheap spot, basil chicken. Do you remember that? Yeah. I think once you cut through the rod in the middle, guys, you can probably bend it. But you don't want to fucking make any break anything inside. Drive up to that fucking. Uh, Is it really? Yeah. Drive. Get in your truck and drive up it's to like that fucking scrapyard. It's all right, man. That's forty bucks, dude. <laughs> I'm kidding with him. 
what he's thinking. He took that shit back out of the trash when he heard that. Alright guys, I just put a little pipe dope on that thing there. And uh, that's it. Bada bing. Bada boom. When you're putting this on, you gotta be careful. Oh, that one's bigger. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I remember that last time. Yeah. I don't know which one it is. Doesn't look like I got the right one here. You had it, you had it before. Yeah, I have it. It's just in the truck. thing up there around the back here. Okay boys, so this goes on here like that, I'm thinking. I ain't got my goddamn glasses on. Alright, and then this just needs to be connected to this ground screw not even a ground screw just that little thing plug her in man let me get my uh you got a screwdriver phillips yeah ow hey you know i'm charging you 25 dollars now for all these calls that you call me for I go through my uh, my phone records and I see your name a lot, man. How do you do this? How do you do that? What do I look like, the fucking GE answer man? Huh? This guy, he puts up with me, man. He's a nut. 35 years ago, he'd have been, we'd have been fighting by now, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, shit, 10 years ago, that would have happened. <laughs> Have you gotten your ass kicked yet? No. Nope. Really? No. Nope. So you went out on top? Yeah. Unfortunately for me, <laughs> I got a fucking beat down right in the middle of fucking town. Jesus Christ, everybody with my name on my truck. <laughs> Might as well be in fucking lights. You oh, know, a fucking man. billboard. That's I fucking bad. limp back, shit my pants. That's bad. It's terrible, man. Yeah. That's bad. I went out on top. Good for you, brother. Yeah. Just don't do anything stupid. Don't get angry. All right, guy. Let's let's uh. You gotta force something open in there. Yeah. That's it, guys. As simple as that. It'll take the odor out of this thing within a couple of days, according to him. He's the owner and. He likes them. Are we doing the one in the back house? He says, I don't have another one. Well, no shit if you didn't buy it. He's so fucking tight. Tight! But look at all the nice shit he has. Look at these electric bikes, man. Fold away. Hey guys, that guy, he's funny as shit. I've known him for a long time. And uh, 35 years, really, since I came here. December of 88. But uh, he was a framer. Uh, and a good one, you know. And he was the framer on, I think we were working on like a 14 unit uh, condominium. Two separate buildings, big buildings. And this guy and his helper, uh, they were partners. Every morning, you drive up to the job and they would just be fucking screaming at each other. Total fucking nutcases. Sometimes it came to blows. Uh, but he's funny as shit. I bust his balls. But that sucker, man, he is cheap, man. 
and you would think if I did a job at, at his house and I drove away and 10 minutes later he realized I left my drill, he would have called me not three months later and I find it on his workbench. Some guys, even though you, they're your friends, man, you just, uh, he's, it's all got to do with him being cheap, man. Paid me $100 to come out to his house and put that damn anode rod in on another heater. And then he stole my drill. Fuck, y'all. That just ain't right, man. Anyways, we have fun, man. His mom lives across the street from me. He's a good guy. His family, they're all hard workers. Little fucking cray-cray, but we all are. Hey guys, uh, a little tip when it comes to uh, dye testing a toilet. Uh, you want to make sure that you have the water level set to where it's going to stay. You want to make sure that it has filled up to that point and has settled out. Give it a couple of minutes. You don't want turbulence in the, in the tank. Uh, because you could get a little leak by on the flapper uh, and then put your dye in there a couple drops is close to that above the flapper but make sure you don't get any of that shit down the overflow tube uh, and just kind of let it sit there eventually it'll turn the whole tank green and um, do your test man do your test and uh, that toilet tested satisfactory. Uh, should be fine, man. But it's a good thing to have. Go to your market next time you go shopping. Buy a couple, three, four of them. A three pack of green, blue, it don't matter. Whatever color. And I, a lot of times, man, I tell people when they're in their house and they call me and they say, I think my toilet's leaking. I tell them before, uh, the, if they've got any old coffee in a coffee pot, you can do the same thing. Just pour that shit in there. Uh, coffee works just fine. And uh, anything to change the color of that water. So, just a little tech tip there. Tech tip. Another tech tip is if you've got a friend who's a real tight wad, tell him you prefer that he stay away from you and all your shit, like go in the house, don't distract me, don't be wandering off to my truck so you can pick something and hide it behind a tree. Yeah, a little paranoid I am, but uh, that's another tech tip. Watch out for the cheapskates, man. They're always trying to even the score. Why they think we're getting over on them because they're paying us to provide a service. Cheap. Right. Hey guys, just uh, just had some hot garbage from uh, McDonald's. Hot garbage pretty much sums it up, man. I feel like shit, but maybe once or twice a year, man, I indulge in some hot garbage and. Uh, It is what it is, y'all. Alright, guys. So, supposedly I've been here before. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the right. Alrighty. Let's see where the it is. reason I think this is going to be like a shit ball hot. Maybe not. This might be down here on the corner. It's on the corner. It's a nice place. Did a lot of work for this guy. Yeah, it is. I remember this place last time I was here. Your destination is on the right. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he's got cooking here. Alright, 
so he's got an issue here with this no pressure let me uh, look quickly he wants to replace the valves underneath because uh, they're very hard to turn on or maybe I mean turn off but maybe impossible that thing's pretty crusted I can see Why that baby just does not yes, you don't want to come out. Such long threads. Oh wow! Just jump up. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely in the aerator. You can see all the crap in it. Oh jeez! All right, I'll get that cleaned out. You still want me to replace those valves? Well, I mean, if I. <clears throat> If I get this running good, you're good with that? But then this one, the toilet almost overflowed. I couldn't turn that one. Yeah, I'll put a new stop on that, but this... Do you want to just check it out? And yeah, yeah. It? All right, my friend. Let me, get, let me get hop in here. It's 1238. Uh, just knock on the door if you need me, okay, John? All right, brother. All right, so I'm gonna try to clean this aerator a little bit. It's pretty. Pretty nasty, man. Look at that shit. Looky here. Hmm. Wow. This is actually one of those that you can unthread. That's why this was so hard to get out. Because I think the, the aerator unscrews out of this. Let me go out. I got these wrenches out on the truck. I'm going to see if I can get that out and then I have a new one. Hey guys, I got this great tool here. Uh, it's like eight and one. All these different size, uh, you know, tools for getting these aerators out. Ow, see, that's the one. I'm just going to try to, I mean, I do have some of these aerators. I'm just going to try to clean this one. So he's trying to sell this house and what I'm going to do is try to make this faucet work better for him. Uh, there is a little flow restrictor I can see down in here. Just have to get this uh, Just have to get. 
get this screen off. See the little black flow restrictor? That's going to get him a lot more pressure. tough to get out man I will say that sometimes they're like buried down in there there we go that little bastard that's what will do it You wear gloves because you're smart. I never claimed to be that. Okay, so now it's time to put this baby bag in now. I'm leaving that screen off. I did squirt this with some WD. Everything's very, very small and uh, frustrates me. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to go ahead and put this gasket back in there. I actually don't mind the design of that one. Some of them are just horrible, man. Hey bud, you want to check this out? <clears throat> this should be a lot better. Oh yeah, I mean, a billion times better. Yeah, I got the flow restrictor out. It's this right here. Oh. This little O-ring is what was, it was clogged plus this flow restrictor. Okay, okay, all right. But that's all you're going to get out of that valve that's, anyways. I mean, that's obviously three times the amount of pressure. Okay. All right, let me get this toilet taken care of for you. Cool deal, cool deal. I'll put a new shirt off on it for okay. you. And then, um, not that we have to do it today, but what would it take um, to kind of maybe redo some stuff here? Because this thing has this thing here. I don't know if it's like, or it comes off. Like, I don't know if I'm missing a screw maybe. Let me see. I mean, because if we could just get that thing the screw, attached. The screw's in there. I just got to spray it and uh, put it back on. I mean, if we can... If yeah, we can, I'll do it. And what can, about that tub drain? You want to leave it off? That um, just screws back in. Yeah, that just screws in. That's fine. Yeah, that, as long as we can get that handle from falling, I can polish all that up because we're going to sell this house in a little while. You take that head off if yeah. you want or get a bag and get some CLR. Yeah, I've seen that. I know. Soak it in that, get a Ziploc bag, yep, and yep, you'll yep. be good, man. Cool, cool, cool. All right, brother. Let me get yep. this shut off here. It's a PVC, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. I gotta shut the water off. I'm gonna turn. I've got a new CPVC valve. Unfortunately, because there's no room behind it, this nut's gonna have to stay there. I can put a new shut off on it though. All right, guys. So.
Here's a new CPVC stop. Uh, unfortunately, this and this are going to stay. But this gasket here has to come off and be put on that. Uh, this piece when it comes out of the wall and this this new valve will go right on uh, No problem there uh, I've got to spray this uh, This handle hmm. Looks like they just couldn't find the hole because it's not not stripped or anything So like I said a million times, this little set of Allen wrenches is very, very convenient uh, because it's so small and it fits in everywhere. You know, it's very slim line. Thinking this is the, nope. want to make sure that this is not the, the wrench definitely not that one this one is turning it yeah that's a nice tight fit in there you can see the screw is going in I'm going to back it out Get this put on for him. I've got to shut the water off to uh, that should be good. You get a couple wrenches and I'll take care of this valve with a new supply hose. Alright guys, so any experienced plumber would know that we're looking at a potential, a potential. We got galvanized screwed into So I need to bag it up, Jack. Bag it up as they see. Yeah. Hopefully get this off without creating a fucking big problem. Got it? You feel me? You smell me? You smell me, man? Alright, so that's gonna go just like so. I wanna take some of this still. Some of this Dell shit right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to go out, out on this edge. We all know 
It's a potential. Fire Marshal Bill. It's a potential. Potential fire hazard. It's a potential. Yeah. Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. Look at the shit built up in that, man. Yesterday, I couldn't spell electrolysis. Today, I'm looking at it. Special funky type nail adapter stuff. I sh really should be backing this up. I know better. I do. I really do. <clears throat> I just need to get it sideways here. got here this is actually a good hose but it's got a brass finish just paint that son of a bitch you know paint it it'll get around there it'll make its way around that whole damn thing man You know what ambidextrous is? That's when both of your fucking hands don't work anymore. Always teaching. Yeah, you just paint the whole fucking thing and then turn. Hey guys, when you tighten up the packing nut, just enough so it don't leak. Dig it. Leave a little for the next guy. That's right. That's it. Alright guys. Quick repair. No harm, no foul. Water's back on. 
Geico charging us now $575. He seemed to be cool with that price. Isn't that an unbelievable? I'm at about 200 I think. That's it. A couple valves, supply hose, and some an hour of my time. That's it, guys. A couple of things, guys. I want to show you uh, maybe just one um, this is a great tool I can't find a name on it unfortunately it's just got a bunch of uh, TJ, TF, uh, different sizes, standard. Uh, but this is great because you don't, you won't lose this. Uh, and that's it, man. That's all I got for you. I got a bunch of stops on my truck. Keep your truck stopped. Got a bunch of compression stops in there. Got a bunch of chrome. I got to the point where I just buy chrome, guys. The difference in price is ridiculous. There's no no difference. So just buy chrome. Who cares if you got chrome stops? Just don't be buying polished brass, man. You know what I'm saying, y'all? I went to a house, man. It had all polished brass in the cabinets. They must have got them sent to them by accident or something. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's gonna buy polished brass stops and put them in a cabinet unless they got them for free. I like these, a dual stop, but it's gotta have two handles. Gotta have two handles, man. Otherwise, it's worthless. Garbage. Put this back in my stand up top shelf. Mustard, rectum seal, best shit on the market, man, best stuff on the market, soft set, it looks good, it wipes off easy, it's clean, get you some, man. Alright guys, Johnny Sunshine here, that's going to be a wrap for today. Uh, I gotta tell you guys, if you're in business, uh, doing Zelle is the way to go. Um, man, you get paid. I tell them, just pay me through Zelle. By the time I get back to my truck, I got a message on my phone saying, you know, the payment went through and I got my money. No more going to the bank, making deposits. I know you can... Some of you guys, you make deposits with uh, with your phone and all that shit. But for me, I'm an old fucking retarded plumber, semi-retarded and retired. Uh, it just works for me. I I love it. So if you're out there, you need you know check out Zelle. It doesn't cost you anything. That's the best part. Better than better than taking credit cards. Is my point get paid every time every job get paid every day guys no no going home and spending hours writing up invoices and billing people most people are satisfied with the receipt that they paid you uh you know it, 
it's all good, man. Have a great day, guys. This is Tuesday. Johnny Sunshine's done for the day.